When Vincent McLaughlin decided to rent out his spare room on a popular accommodation site, it went pretty well at first. Until he met the guest from hell. Vincent ended up in hospital. Then the attacker turned on our camera crew. And I thought, I'm going to die, you know? This guy's going to kill me. Napier Hutana, Jess Nagel from A Current Affair. You're accused of unlawfully assaulting Vincent McLaughlin. How do you intend to fight these charges today? He kept repeatedly saying, give me my refund, give me my money. It's the most violent occurrence that I've ever had in my entire life. Bruised and battered, lying in a hospital bed, this is Vincent McLaughlin after being bashed by a man who booked to stay at his Brisbane home. He shoved me in the chest with both hands, which really jolted me and knocked me back. And then he advanced and then he, he punched me in the, in the eye. All because guest Napier Hutana says he wasn't happy with the accommodation and wanted a refund. Vincent's been left with a fractured eye socket and bruised Is there anything you'd like to say to Vincent? After suffering a serious stroke, Vincent could no longer work as a receptionist, so he decided to rent out the spare room in his apartment on accommodation website booking.com as a means of making extra money. He's had more than 60 guests and never had a problem. The vast majority have had a terrific experience here, really enjoyed it. Um, I have guest book reviews that say, you know, they really enjoyed their time. But on Saturday, the 29th of August last year, Vincent got a booking which changed everything. 40-year-old Napier Hutana showing up that afternoon, but he never made it inside the front door. He then said, well, it's not suitable. Um, I need a refund. I'm not going to stay. I said, well, if you want a refund, you'll need to get onto booking.com because booking.com are the people who took your booking and they took your money. They have your money, I don't have your money. Unhappy with the response, Hutana became aggravated and aggressive. And with both hands, he shoved me in the chest and said, give me the refund. I just sort of fell backwards because of the force that was applied on my chest. He then advanced very quickly whilst I was coming back and punched me in the eye. Causing two fractures to his eye socket, Napier didn't stop there, repeatedly punching Vincent as the pair ended up on the ground. And I realised that he had his hand on my neck and was pushing down with all of his weight on my neck. Vincent's right eye was so badly swollen he couldn't see out of it. I basically ended up with my face in the rocks, him on top of me, and I did all that I could to try and get off the ground so I could get a breath and not die. I could then hear a voice saying, he's gone, he's gone. Napier continued to pin Vincent to the ground even after neighbours called police. He was so badly injured in the attack, he spent the night in hospital. I had a black eye for, for quite some time. I have a headache, neck, shoulder pain, my ribs are quite sore. Um, mentally, you know, I'm frightened to go outside the home. Napier Hutana was charged with unlawful assault. Mr Hutana, is there anything you'd like to say to your alleged victim? <laughs> While fronting court, his aggressive behaviour continued. Hutana lashing out at our camera crew. Look at Huh? It's still difficult to deal with because I have to deal with it every day, every minute of the day where I'm recounting of what happened. After refusing to enter an early guilty plea and sacking two legal aid solicitors, Napier Hutana chose to represent himself in a trial here at Brisbane Magistrates Court. Given the serious nature of the assault, the magistrate said she had no other option than to send him to prison. Sentencing Mr Hutana to 18 months behind bars, six months non-parole. It hasn't changed my life and it doesn't give me back what's been taken from me. 
Um, but it was a sense of relief to know that the justice system has stepped up and actually done something on this occasion. Yeah, we think Hutana would much prefer Vincent's room now to where he will be staying for at least the next six months.